Hello guys, today we're going to learn how to um, knead a pillow cover. I've done already three and today I'm going to show you how to make the smaller one. So we're going to make a um, cover for uh, this pillow. I'm going to use that kind of color of the rope. As you can see um, and let's see how it will come out the first thing we're going to do a basic loop as I said so um, we place the end of the uh, yarn on our hand and we twist it here over our two fingers and this bit here this bit the longer one uh, we're going to place inside the main uh, the main um, hook so and we're going to lock it so just close this and lock it very well so we're going to make a series of um, loops uh, which is called chain for the base of the pillow the length of that pattern will be 30 centimeters and then we're going to continue the same pattern all the way up for 60 centimeters so um in that way we should um you know we should come out with a even 30 by 30 centimeters um pillow pattern uh, so let's start I'm also using 10, 10 millimeters uh, crochet hook, which um, in my opinion is very good for making pillowcases and you know rugs, carpets and stuff like that. So let's continue with making a uh, base here. So we have the first one, the first, uh, the first loop. Now we're going to put a crochet hook through uh, the loop, place the rope on the, on the hook again and twist it and pull it down here this way right so in that way we created two chains already and we're going to continue the same way until we um, have approximately 30 centimeters long uh, line so that's three three four five So my chain is done, it's approximately 30 centimeters long. Uh, so now what we're going to do is uh, use the last loop to create uh, the beginning of the next uh, row, of the next um, kind of line here, right? And we're going to continue the same way all the way up. So once you have your crochet hook inside the last loop that, um, that you've done, uh, what, we, what we're going to do is place the crochet hook in the first available uh, loop on the chain. So as you can see, this um, this uh, loop comes out of this one, right? If we if we will place the hook in here, you see what happens. You're going to place hook in the next of in the next available loop. So you place it here. You place it in here and take the rope twist it pull it through that loop now you have two um, loops on the hook and you take another one here and pull it through all those two pull it through those two so this is what you should come up with and we're going to continue it all the way down. So again, uh, doo -doo -doo, so this, okay. So we take it to another one. Mm -hmm. And we do another loop, uh, another knot here. Okay, so let me just do it a little bit quicker now.
Mm -hmm. So we're going to do the same pattern all the way till the end. Also though, what I didn't mention, now I'm thinking about it, that, um, hmm, yeah, that you see, um, in the, let me just show it to you, uh, in those loops here, right, you have, um, you have kind of one, two, and three, uh, and three lines in the, in the loop, right, so, <clears throat> uh, you would need to do you would need to put a crochet hook right while you're knitting this this pattern through only only through the uh, through the first one here right because um some there, there are some there are some knots where you would need to place your crochet hook not through the first one but f but kind of under under the second one here right so you would do do it here and then obviously you you will do the knot but with this one because obviously the way the way chain is created it's more natural to put it through like through through the middle kind of yeah so under the first under the first line here uh yeah so just a little reminder i think i forgot i forgot to mention it but it's kind of it's it's crucial it's important so okay and the last one here we Put it in, take it out, and then pull the third last one in. So this is the knot that we created, the series of knots that we created. Once we did the last knot, uh, we're going to create beginning of the second line. So we have one loop in here, and we're going to pull the rope here to create another one another loop here which will be the beginning of the second rope here and we twist the uh, we twist our um, you know our our pattern our uh, rope to the other side so uh, now we have uh, the loop on this side uh, and we're going to continue the same way uh as we did in here but this time um we have we have our uh our loops on top here so obviously you have you have one here where the last loop is coming out from then you have a second one here then a third one here fourth one here and all the way down here so we're going to place our crochet hook under, under here, under those two, two lines, and under that, under that first top, uh, first top loop, yeah. So under here, we're going to place it. Mm -hmm. uh, so we put it through this bit here, right? Uh, again, we take we take the rope, uh, twist it on our hook, take it out. We have two lines here, like two loops here. Then we place another, the third one, and we pull it. And this is the way we're going to continue um, all the way down, right? So again, we put it through. We put it through the loop here. We take it. And put it through those three. And the last one, the last loop here. Hmm. Okay. So this is what we come up with. So um my my second um kind of row is done. And uh, we're going to continue, you know, we're going to continue the same way we did with it here. Uh, so again, we have our first loop, we make another one here to build a first one of, this, of the third row this way. We twist it <clears throat> and we start again. 
obviously not from the first loop from the second one we put it in we take it out and we create the first knot of this of the third row so this is how finished pattern looks like as you can see this is really colorful and um what we're going to do now is basically if we make it in half right you can see that it will fit really nicely the the pillow that i have prepared here so you do it here right but then you need to kind of squeeze it all together i'm going to now finish um you know finish them the cover so we need to tighten it, tie it up so i'm going to cut approximately um yeah not too much this is enough of the string and uh close it this way by placing the placing this um this rope into the last loop that we have okay so we place inside and we we close it and then uh, in this bit you can place it um somewhere inside inside um your cover so i don't know maybe somewhere here You can just have it over there inside because this is where you, where we're going to put a pillow anyway. And now I'm just going to close the edge first, um, then probably then place then place the pillow filling inside and then close this edge and then this edge. Um, so closing the cover is not, I mean, it's not such a big, uh, you know, it's not such a complicated job, and. Uh, just place the the rope in any kind of even spaces that we have here mm -hmm. so this is one through here and then through another one over there then again i place it um i place the the string around here actually let me pull a little bit more because i would need a little bit more for the whole pillow probably this much and again i, I put it inside in here mm, and then in here So this way, you see, it's open like this, but I'm closing it tightly here. And I'm going to continue the same way all the way around. So this is how it came out. As you can see, the colors look really, really vibrant on this one. And it's close tightly on the sides so i hope i helped you a little bit in your um in your knitting journey um you know if you do have any questions or if you know if you have any comments feel free to comment below the video and if my video was of any um you know of any use to you of any help make sure you um put the like <laughs> under the video so that um i know that i actually helped some of you and um hopefully i'll make more videos soon take care